Hi yogis, welcome to Yoga Merge. I'm Melissa Brook. Welcome to our beginner intermediate flow. Let's get started. We're going to start in Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet joined, knees apart. If this is too much on the hips, you can bring blocks or books if you have them at home to the outside of the hips to rest here. Either way, close your eyes. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your lower belly. And just begin to breathe here. Just taking a moment to arrive in this space. Shifting your awareness from the external to the internal. So whatever was happening right before this or whatever is happening after this, just choosing to be present here for this time on your mat. Taking a few deep breaths. Inhale, filling the lower hand, the lower belly with air, with energy. And as you exhale, just feeling the chest soften. And go ahead and release the hands. Flutter open the eyes and take a moment to run your palms over your thighs, just becoming grounded here. And then bring your hands back into stillness, rest them on your knees. And then we're going to take nice neck circles, like we're making circles with our nose. So instead of drawing the neck all the way back, you're just drawing a circle right in front of you with your nose in one direction. Just a really safe way to get into the neck here. And go ahead and switch directions. One more round. And bring the head back to stillness. Close the legs together. Place the blocks aside if you are using them and find all fours, tabletop position. So your shoulders are over your wrists, your hips are over your knees, tops of the feet rooted onto the earth, and you're gonna inhale, draw your heart forward, getting into the upper back here, and on your exhale, you're gonna push the earth away, round the spine, tuck the chin. Working through our cat and cow here. Inhale, heart draws forward through the gates of the shoulders, and exhale round, push the earth away. You can close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And just begin to let your breath carry you through a few rounds, honoring your own breath, your own rhythm, pausing anywhere that feels good, going as slow as you'd like. Couple more. And finding center, neutral spine. Join the big toes together, bring the knees wide. Sit back on the heels, arms stretched out long in front of you for Balasana, child's pose. Just resting your forehead on the earth here. You can shift right to left on the forehead, massaging out the space in between your eyebrows, your third eye. There could be a lot of tension there. And just taking a moment here in child's pose to set an intention for your practice today. It can be something simple, one word, something that you're hoping to cultivate more of in your life. Don't think too hard. Maybe just the first thing that comes to mind. 
And inhale deeply to seal that within your practice, within your body. And exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> and climbing back to all fours. Cross the shins, sit back over your heels. Scoot up to the top of your mat. Grab just below the kneecaps. Inhale, draw the chest to the sky. And exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Really slow. Once you're here, you can leave the left leg out long. Draw your right knee into the chest. And finding half happy baby here, you're gonna grab the outside of the right foot or the outside of the right calf, whatever is easier, whatever lets your shoulders remain on the earth here. And you're drawing that knee toward your armpit. If this feels like too much, you can bend that bottom knee. Breathing deeply here into the hips. And bring that left leg out long if it's not out already. Draw the right knee into the chest. Right arm comes out into a T position, palm, palm facing down. And slowly guide that right knee over to the left side of the body, coming into a nice gentle twist here. You can flip the right palm, feel how that melts that right shoulder to the earth. Your gaze can be up or over your right shoulder if that feels good on your neck. Inhaling deeply, full breath. And exhale, softening, letting gravity take you more into the twist. One more deep breath here. Exhale, deepening even more. And on your inhale, draw that knee back to center. Hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze here. And then switch legs, bring your right leg out long. Left foot finds happy baby here. Either the outer edge of that left foot or the outer edge of the calf, wherever you can reach. Drawing that knee closer to your shoulder. Flexing through that left foot. Couple breaths, breathing deeply, sending the exhales to your hip. And release that foot, hug the left knee in. Bring the left arm out to a T, palm facing down, as you guide that left knee over to the right side of the body. Every exhale, deepening the twist here. You can flip the palm, you can gaze over your left shoulder if that feels good. Just beginning to wake up the spine. Inhale, filling the body. Exhale, releasing more into the twist. One more breath. And draw the knee back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. And then begin to rock forward and back on the spine. If that feels good, you can do it a couple times using your core to pause. And then to find, come all the way up. Coming back to all fours. Really rooting through all areas of the palm here. Spread the fingers wide, especially pressing into the space in between your forefinger and your thumb. Shift your shoulders over your wrist. Hug your triceps, your upper outer arms back, 
and then firm your biceps away from each other. Tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back, coming into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. So this is your first downward dog. You can feel into it here. You can paddle out the feet, invite any movement that you need. You can shift the hips back and forth. You can bend the knees deeply. Whatever feels good. And then coming into that strong downward dog, bend the knees deeply, press so much into the palms that you can shift your torso more th toward your thighs and then melt your heels to the earth as your sit bone reaches up to the sky. Let the neck release. And breathe, send that energy to the backs of the legs, opening up here. <sighs> Inhale and exhale out the mouth. <sighs> and walk your hands back toward your feet, hanging in Uttanasana forward fold here. You can bring a generous bend to the knees, drawing the torso onto the thighs. You can rock forward and back in the feet. Just getting a sense of your balance, your center. Letting the neck be long. You can shake the head yes, shake the head no. Just waking up here. Couple deep breaths. Every exhale, drawing the crown of the head more toward the earth. Hmm. And walking back out to downward facing dog. Couple breaths here, finding that still strong downward facing dog. And coming up high onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to find your flat back like you're looking over a cliff. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down into the feet to rise all the way up. And exhale the hands to the heart. Close your eyes here. Find your breath once again. Recall your intention. How can you honor what your body needs today? How can you honor what you're trying to create more of? And what can you release? What is no longer serving you? Let's inhale, circle the arms high. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, hinging from the hips. Inhale to find that flat back. Hands can come to the shins. Exhale, release. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, finding Tadasana, mountain pose with the hands at the heart. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, take it down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, heart lifts. Exhale, release. Inhale it all the way up. And exhale the hands to the heart. Beginning to cultivate our heated breath, our ujjayi breath. Inhaling in and out of the nose with a slight constriction of the back of the throat. So it sounds like ocean waves. It allows the body to build heat internally. But if you ever feel like you need to cool down, you can inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, which is a more cooling breath. Inhale, circle the arms high. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, this time plant the hands. Step back to plank pose, either with the knees lifted or knees to the mat. Pausing here, drawing the heart forward through the shoulders, heels reaching energetically back. Every exhale, hugging the navel into the spine. One more breath here. Inhale. 
and exhale, lower down through Chaturanga all the way to the belly. Flip the toes, plant the hands for baby cobra. Root down into the tops of the feet so much that the kneecaps lift up off the earth. And then inhale, peel your chest away, getting into the upper back. And exhale, release it down. Press back to downward dog. You can always come through your knees to get to downward dog. Inhale, come up high onto the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, step or hop forward. Inhale to find flat back. Exhale, release it down. Inhaling all the way up. And exhale the hands to the heart. Working through our Surya A one more time, letting your breath guide you. So inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to find that flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down for cobra or inhale, rise to upward dog. Thighs are up off the mat. And exhale, press it back to downward dog. Let's take a couple deep breaths here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, spine growing long. Exhale, sink deeper into the heels. One more inhale and exhale. On our next inhale, we're going to step the right foot forward in between the hands. If it doesn't quite make it, you can just inch it forward with your hand. Drop the left knee to the mat. You can have your blocks handy if you like to frame your foot here. And you're inhaling to rise to Anjane Asana. So either arms reach high, shoulders down the back, or you can use your blocks at any height to help bring the floor to you to really lengthen the spine here. So moving into Anjane Asana here, you're gonna hug that right hip back, left hip hugs forward, squaring off the pelvis. And you can either use the blocks to frame your foot at any height to keep the spine long, to bring the floor up to meet you, or you can inhale, root down through the feet to rise to Anjane Asana. Exhale, draw your shoulders down the back. Maybe gaze up, maybe palms touch. Nice deep breaths here. Sinking more into that front knee. And one more inhale, stretch through the arms. Exhale, circle the hands down. Step it back to downward dog. Tuck that back knee off the mat and step it back. I'm just feeling into the backs of the legs here. Next, inhale, draw that left foot forward, step it in between the hands. Right knee drops to the mat. Hug your left hip back to square the hips to the front of the mat. And then inhale to rise to Anjane Asana or use the blocks. Nice deep breaths here. really rooting into the top of that back foot to hold your balance. Inhale and exhale, circle it down. Lift the back knee and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come up high onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop it to the top. Inhale to find that flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, root down to rise. And exhale, the hands come to the heart. Inhale, circle it back up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, heart leads. Inhale, flat back. And on your exhale, you're gonna step the right foot back, coming into high lunge, left foot is forward. Hug that left hip back, right hip comes forward, squaring off the hips for crescent pose. Come up high onto the fingertips, draw the heart forward so your spine is super long, and then root down into the feet to rise to crescent. Exhale, sink into that front knee. Knee is not tracking past the ankle. You can bend the back knee to help square off the hips here. 
And then you can start to straighten the knee as you sink a little bit deeper. Couple breaths, a nice strong crescent pose. Really breathing through the poses. One more inhale. Exhale, circle the hands down. Plant that right hand into the ground and twist open to your left side. If this is too much, you can bring that knee down or keep it lifted. Twisting from the navel, maybe gazes up toward the fingertips. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, circle the hand down. Step back to downward dog. Pause here. One breath. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Squaring off the hips, right hip hugs back. Left hip comes forward. Crescent pose on this side. Coming up high onto the fingers. Spine is long and keeping all of that length rooting down to rise to crescent pose. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper into the front knee. Again, you can bend that back knee to draw that left hip forward a little bit more and then start to straighten. Inhale, reach high, maybe gaze up. Exhale, circle it down. Step it back to plank pose. Move through your vinyasa, hugging in the elbows to the ribs for chaturanga. Inhale to find your back bend, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, shift it back for downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank here. Pause, you can bring your knees down if this is too much. Shift a little bit forward, drawing that heart forward, heels reach back. Every exhale, sealing in the lower belly, beginning to build that heat. And exhale, press it back. Immediately inhale, come forward, back to plank pose, finding Vashistasana, side plank. So you're gonna walk your left hand in front of your face, and you're gonna shift your weight to the outer edge of the left foot, stacking your shoulder over your wrist here. Maybe gaze up. If this is too much, you can bring that right foot down or you can bring the left foot down to the mat and reach high that way. Stacking the hips, maybe drawing that right hip forward a little bit. Exhale, coming down, back to plank pose. Bringing the right hand in front of the face, shifting over to the right foot. Left arm reaches high. Maybe gazing up. Check in with the hips. You might need to shift that left hip over the right. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the arm down. Come on back to plank and push back to downward dog. Let's take three nice lion's roars here. Inhaling through the nose, scrunch up the face. Exhale, stick out the tongue. Two more. Inhaling deeply, exhale, release. <sighs> Inhaling, spine grows long, and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, come up high onto the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, circle the arms high. And exhale, the hands to the heart. Reconnecting with your breath here. Noticing where your thoughts went. Couple breaths. Just letting your breath be your anchor throughout your practice. Guiding your movement. And inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, leading with the heart all the way down. Inhale to find that flat back. 
Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank pose. Exhale, lower down, hugging the elbows in. Inhale to find your back bend. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Shift forward onto all fours. Press back into child's pose for just a moment. Sink your heels back, your hips back to meet your heels. I'm just resting here for just a moment. One more deep breath. And shift forward. We're going to come into dolphin pose here. So bring your forearms down to the mat. Clasp your hands together and tuck that pinky finger underneath so that it's not getting crushed. Elbows are shoulder width apart. And as you inhale, you're going to tuck your toes just like in downward dog and push up and back walking the toes forward as much as you can, pressing into the hands, the forearms. You can bend the knees a little bit to get some more leverage. Walking those toes in. Deep breaths here. <sighs> Exhaling out the mouth. Breathing through that tension in the arms, the backs of the legs. One more breath. And shift forward into plank. plank. Walk the feet back here. See if you can bring the palms back to the mat and press back for a downward facing dog. Inhale to come up high onto the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale the arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, the hands come to the heart. One deep breath here, inhaling through the nose. Exhale, sigh. Go ahead and flutter open the eyes. We're gonna find Malasana here. So walk your feet out to the width of your mat and you can turn them out slightly. I'm gonna to turn to face you. You're gonna inhale, draw the arms up, heart reaches high. And as you exhale, you're gonna draw your hands to your heart, start to bend your knees, sinking into the hips for Malasana, yogi squat. If this feels like way too much, you can sit on a block or just begin to allow the body to release into the pose, pressing the palms in toward each other to use the elbows to press open the hips. Spine is long and tall. Heart keeps pressing forward here. Gaze is right out in front of you so that your neck feels like an extension of your spine, nice long extension. and go ahead and bring the hands down. Straighten the legs, bring the feet a little bit parallel, but keep them far apart. And just hang here in forward fold. You can bend the knees a little bit. Just releasing the backs of the legs, the hips, the neck. And we're gonna come into Malasana again. I'm gonna shift to the side. So on your exhale, sink those hips deeply, finding Malasana. Spine is long. And we're gonna play with Bakasana, crow pose here. So a nice playful attitude, just like you're a kid kind of hopping around on your hands. So bring your palms down to meet the mat. You're gonna walk your feet in you're gonna hug your thighs into your torso so that you're really tight. And then you're gonna shift forward onto the balls of your feet, kind of walk your feet in. Palms are spread, 
fingertips wide, really rooting into the palms like in downward facing dog. And you're gonna bring your upper arms low onto your shins so your knees are coming toward your armpits. And then you're gonna shift forward, pressing the shins into the upper arms. So much so that your weight becomes distributed onto the backs of your arms. And then maybe you lift your toes, round the spine, contract here. And you can just begin to play with that. You can go back and forth. You can hop up. Try to bring a nice smile to your face. Hugging those heels into the body. I'm just going to do that a couple times. If you're more advanced, you can work on straightening those arms, really hollowing out the lower, hollowing out the spine. Last one, couple breaths. And then shift back, straighten the legs, stretch it out, let it all go. Shake the head, yes, shake the head, no. Inhaling through the nose and exhale, release it out the mouth. <sighs> and walk it back to downward facing dog. Nice wide downward dog, more than hip width distance. You can shift the hips back and forth. And the knees find the earth, all fours. Cross the shins, sit back over the feet. Scooch forward onto your mat. Grab just below the kneecaps, inhale, lift the heart high. And exhale all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Reaching your mat. Once you're on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze, rock right to left. Massaging out the lower back here. You can close your eyes. You can circle your knees if that feels good. Just giving yourself a nice massage, beginning to cool down. And coming back into stillness, hug the knees in. And find full happy baby here. So either grabbing onto the outside of the feet if that's an option, or the outside of the calves. Drawing those knees more toward the earth, opening up the hips. You can rock right to left here if that's fun. Exhale, sinking deeper in to happy baby. And close the knees together slowly, taking a gentle twist here, both knees together, palms out, palms facing down in a T position, and slowly let the knees come to the left side. If this doesn't feel like enough of a twist, you can wrap your right thigh over your left and then come to the left of the body. Flip the palms to face up, rooting the shoulders down. Opening up that right shoulder. Every exhale, melting, softening the body. And inhale to draw the knees to center. If they're intertwined, unwind them and take the same twist on the other side. Flip the palms to face up. You can close the eyes, beginning to draw out your exhales here. So neat, deep, full inhales, and exhale, sinking, melting the body, deepening your twist.
Inhale to draw the knees to center. Unwind. Give yourself a nice squeeze here. And then bring your legs to Supta Baddha Konasana, just like we started. Arms reach overhead. Nice stretch, like you're just waking up from a nap. Just pausing here. One big inhale in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then bring your legs long out in front of you. Feet flop open. Arms long by your sides. Palms facing up. Finding your comfortable Shavasana. Just letting any effort go. Closing the eyes. Softening the muscles of the face, the jaw. Letting everything melt here. No attention to the breath, just letting it flow naturally, following its inhale and its exhale, choosing to remain present for these moments in Shavasana, our most important pose, because it allows us to absorb all the goodness of our practice, allows us to seal it within the body, so giving yourself the time here to rest in silence. Sealing into our practice everything that we drew into the body, the things we wanted to cultivate, things we need and want more of, and all the things we released, we let go of on our exhales, all the things that don't serve us anymore, anything stagnant in the body, any stagnant energy, any old stories and old habits that get in our way. And beginning to open up the space for new opportunities, new experiences. Every inhale, drawing that in. Every exhale, letting go. Whatever you don't need anymore. Inhale to create that space and exhale to fill the space with breath, with energy. Beginning to invite movement into your fingers and your toes. Stretch the arms up overhead like you're just waking. And then slowly, mindfully rolling to your right side, pausing on your arm, using it as a pillow here. Just giving yourself a moment on your side. And then when you're ready, slowly pressing up with your left hand, finding a comfortable seat, letting your head be the last thing to rise. Keeping the eyes closed. If you feel like you need more energy today, place the palms face up on the knees. If you feel like you'd like more grounding, more centering, place the palms face down. Let's take three deep, expansive breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, filling all four sides of the body. And exhale, sigh. 
Inhale, growing taller. And exhale, release. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. And joining your palms at your heart, the center of your chest. Inhale, draw the heart high. Exhale, bow your head to your heart. Inviting more softness, ease, and balance into your life and into our world. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.